Hello students, welcome to class PM. We are discussing spectroscopy. In the last two classes, we try to understand what are the significance of spectroscopy and what are the electromagnetic radiations and their characteristics. In today's class, we are going to learn there are certain parameters to describe the electromagnetic radiations. What are those parameters? Now we are going to study. So there are five parameters which will describe the electromagnetic radiation. So let's see what are those five parameters. First one, it is wavelength. The first parameter which will describe electromagnetic radiation is wavelength. Okay, it is indicated by or represented by the Greek letter lambda. So let's define what is wavelength. So this is a wave and the wave we have crest and troughs in the wave. So the peaks are called crest and these are called troughs. Okay, then what is the wavelength? Wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or troughs. So the distance between two successive crests or troughs is called wavelength. Either you can measure this distance or you can measure this distance, but you shall not calculate both. Okay, it will become double. Okay, the distance between two successive crests, successive means one after other, immediate one. The distance between two successive troughs is called wavelength. Okay, so this is one wavelength. From here to here, the distance is called one wavelength. So, what are the units for the wavelength? So, the various units are there like angstroms, nanometer, picometer. Okay, apart from this meter, centimeter also we will use. These are the different units we will express the wavelength. So, we should know all these things also. 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 meter. So, easily remember 909 10 to the power of 9. 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meters. So, this is the way you can express the wavelength. And the second parameter is frequency. So, it is shown by Greek letter nu. So, what is the frequency? Frequency is nothing but the number of cycles of a wave passing through a given point in one second time. Okay, let me put it in a simple way. This is a point we have taken. Okay, now what is one cycle wave from here to here, this is called one cycle. In the one cycle, one crest, one trough will be there. Okay, that is called one cycle. Okay, in one second time, how many cycles are passing through this given point? It's called its frequency. Okay, frequency is the number of cycles passing through a given point in one second time. Or you can say the number of waves passing through a given point in one second time is called frequency. Okay. The units for frequency, we can say cycle per second or we can use just per second or we can also express in the hedges. Okay. The units cycle per second or per second or hedges are the units you can use for the frequency. Okay. So, once again, I am repeating what is frequency? The number of wave cycles that is includes one crest and one trough. The number of cycles passing through a given point in one second is called its frequency. So, the relation between frequency and wavelength is inverse relation. Okay? If wavelength increases, frequency decreases. If frequency decreases, wavelength increases. Okay? Vice versa, you can take it as. So, the relation between inverse relation. So, if you remove this constant, we will get nu is equal to c by lambda. Here, c is the constant which is equal to speed of the light, that is velocity of light. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. This is the relation between frequency and the wavelength. And the third one is amplitude. So, what is an amplitude? The height of a crest or depth of a trough. In a simple way, you can tell that it is a height of a crest or depth of a trough is called its amplitude. This is height of a crest. This is the depth of a trough. So, this is called amplitude. Okay. The same units what we use for the wavelength, the same units also used for amplitude also. Okay. Amplitude is what? 
the height of a crest and the depth of a trough is called its amplitude. And another one is wave number. We will show it nu bar. So, wave number is the number of wavelengths present in a unit distance or unit length the number of wavelengths present in a unit length okay for example i have taken this is as my unit length in this distance or in this range of distance how many wavelengths are present how many wavelengths are present called its wave number and this wavelength wave number is reciprocal of wavelength that's why its units are per meter or per centimeter we will use units okay so the number of how many wavelengths are there here one two two and a half you can say that okay so the number of wavelengths present in a unit distance is called its wave number the wave number is reciprocal of wavelength nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda and the units are per meter per centimeter per nanometer such units we can use next the fifth one is everybody knows the velocity so what is the velocity that is the distance traveled by an electromagnetic wave in one second time is called its velocity and the units are meter per second or centimeter per second we can use for the velocity so these are the five parameters we will use to study or to talk about or to describe an electromagnetic radiation so wavelength frequency wave number amplitude and the velocity are the five parameters that will describe the electromagnetic radiation. So, in the next class we are going to study what is electromagnetic spectrum.